Welcome to the channel. We're back out on the dog apartment electrical. And after uh, I finished up the other day, uh, I got to looking and I'm like, why am I running two wires to the switch? Because my power is up here. And I realized I didn't need it. So I took the power back out, the, the power wire back out of the switch over here. It is now just running with the 14.2 up there to the new light that I put on. I got rid of that old ugly thing. This was one I had already that I took down when I, uh, the little office area I had under the stairs, where the stairs are now, that was the light I had there. Ended up, that's perfect. Uh, I did go and buy a wider box, actually in, you know, in depth. So that worked out well. Now what I got planned for this here is this is all gonna be shelving all up through here you know laundry soap things like that so there will be uh i will devise a way to hide all this that's why and this is out like that so when i'm done with the shelving it'll i'll make sure that that is uh recessed in there we'll get to that bridge when we cross it or we'll cross that bridge when we get to it one way or another so this project is taking 50 times longer than it should. And this is all wired up, it's ready to go. So now, I'm gonna wire this up, should go fairly fast. Then I'm gonna wire this one up, but before I do, let's go out here into this jungle of a mess. I need to whittle this out a little more so this box can come up a little more uh, because that's, that's gonna be too far in. I wouldn't be able to get a light or a uh, outlet cover on it. So I gotta get my uh, multi-tool and I'll just chisel some of that out a little better. And I'm gonna use the 12-2 that I didn't need for the light switch. And I'm gonna run it up here to that pole because on the outside of that pole, I've got a big barn light that I wanna put out here. Yeah, right out here, I wanna mount a barn light. Probably right in the center, right up there. That's gonna provide light for this little area here, which is also gonna be a little patio area. I'm just gonna put gravel in here. I've got, that's what I've got those posts for over there. I'm gonna fence this in, right in this area here after I get it all leveled out, filled with gravel. That little ditch I'm gonna leave. Uh, that's a good drainage. When I put the gravel in there, it's still gonna act as a ditch. Uh, it, it doesn't, it's not like it's a major problem with water back here. So I just want to, that's what that pile of rock right there is for. But I, ain't, I don't think I'm using that. It's too big. So I'm going to go to the local hardware store for $20 a bucket load on their skid steer. I can get regular gravel or river rock. I may just go get some river rock from the quarry and put in here like three quarter inch uh, size. So this would be a nice little springtime area to come sit. Might even build a, a pergola up here, but I don't really don't want to do that because that, that blocks the view of the screened in patio. But this is a project that I'm gonna get to here pretty soon. And cause I gotta get those, I gotta get those posts off the ground. So it's probably gonna go from the corner here to about right up here where it starts to slope up. As you can see, that's a hill. All right, man, got to get back in there and do some electrical. Now, Tilly, I, I thank you for showing interest in wanting to become an electrician like Waldo. And I am going to give you some lessons. Now, we're making pigtails right now. Listen to me, girl. First lesson. You have to pay attention. I'm making pigtails. I know dogs like to eat pigtails. But these are di different kind of pigtails. Now, you're too busy watching a fly. When you're ready to learn a lesson, you let me know. Maybe you're standing by the picks. Maybe you're interested in plumbing. I don't know. This one, you know who you are. Miss Telly just got in big trouble. I heard a crunching noise. Turn around. She is hauling out my GoPro. I got teeth marks in my GoPro because of you. What do you got to say? Yeah, I don't think you're going to be allowed in here no more. But 
that's my fault for leaving it down, but you don't grab that. That was a bad girl. Bad girl. I don't think you care. All right. We are in the screen patio. It's kind of dark. Uh, I've got my settings on my camera as low as I can get them for this light. Got the outlet in there. That all went good. This one, boy, every time I turn my back, you're getting into something. You're dragging something out. You leave stuff alone. How are you ever going to be an indoor dog? How are you ever going to be an indoor dog when you start grabbing stuff? You don't know nothing about electricity. You know you're guilty. Look at that face. You know you're guilty. What was you going to do with my GoPro? Go film puppy stuff? Yeah? Yeah, I don't know about you. And in here we got a lazy boy. I don't think he feels good today. I'm not sure. All right, we got this outlet all wired. Obviously, that one's all wired. The light is wired. And that outlet is fully wired, as with the switch. I don't have any screws for this. I don't know why uh, it didn't come with them. But i got to find some screws for that. Other than that, electrical is complete. In the screen patio and in the dog apartment. Now all that's left to do is go in there and hook it up. But I've got a little bit of work to do before that. That isn't going to happen today. i got to show you guys something else. <clears throat> all right. We are in the current laundry room. Remember when I cleaned this out? Probably not long ago. Maybe not even two months. Yeah, I had it all nice and clean. Look at it now. It's become a tool room. Oh, man. All right. I have here a tester. It tells you if your outlets are good, wired right. This is one I did. Uh, look here. Center one lit. That is not correct. And that's telling me... Boy, those are hard to read. Only the center. Wow, that, okay. Open ground. That is not good. And this one. This side, correct would be these two lights here. And this one is telling me... Hot neutral reversed. Okay. So electricity will work if you reverse the neutrals and the hots. But it ain't good. So we're going to switch all these. This ain't the only one. All right. Now we are in the kitchen. I did not wire these in the kitchen. My brother did. So if he's watching, let's give these a test. Open ground. Open ground. Go over here. Open ground. Not good at all. Of course, that's going to be open ground. What is that? <laughs> reverse. Hot neutral reverse. So that I got to... All right, I pulled this outlet out. And it is wired correctly. Neutral to the silver. And the hot to the gold. And the ground is there. So I don't know why we're getting that reading. If this is in the same chain as that, which it sh should be, maybe it's there. Let me go check, pull that one off. But this one's fine. I can go ahead and button it back up. All right, I pulled both of these out. Uh, the hots are where they need to be. The neutrals are where they need to be. But I did see, and this is getting a ground fault. Now look at that ground wire right there. It's on there, but not very good. So I'm going to redo that. That one appears to be on there okay, but it could be better. It's it's really just kind of hanging on there too, so I'm going to fix that. And I'm going to leave these the way they are. This isn't how I wired. Uh, this is in a series. I don't really care for that. But it's worked for <laughs> eight years. But this here, 
And I did discover something else. Uh, when I hit the breaker, the refrigerator went off. Well, I thought I wired the refrigerator to a dedicated 20 amp circuit. But this is, this is on a 30 amp circuit with this line of electric on this chain. And so I got to change that too. Uh, at least we're discovering this. All right, took the grounds off. I got them on much better. And I hope that's all it was because I don't see anything else wrong. Uh, yes, I do. But, the, you know, this thing's been working for... Wait a minute here. Yeah, those are on right. The only problem, I, the only difference I see... Well, this, these are upside down for one thing. I need to flip them over. Uh, you know, I'm just going to leave them the way they are because, man, these screws are so hard to get out. I'm pulling these outlets out. And this is an outlet that sits too far back and I can't get a cover on it. And I got a cure for that. And I'm going to show you here in a minute. All right, it's very, very tight quarters here, so I'm going to be behind you. Now, if you've got an outlet where it's set back too far, like this one is, this is way back, you know, before where it needs to be, and I cannot get a cover plate on it. Well, they sell these spacers, okay? So I'm going to add a quarter inch to this. These are an eighth, eighth, eighth inch thick, and you can stack them. And so I'm going to fold this one over, and then all you do is he's going to set them, I believe he set them right there. Well, that don't look, yeah. Somehow they go in here. <laughs> they go back here, but that don't look right. Man! Okay, they go like that, I guess. And maybe I got, okay, I see what I did wrong. There's, I went, <clears throat> gotta fold this dude over all right yeah and then that goes there like that you put your screw in and it builds that out so let me see if I can do that without knocking over the camera let me work these back up in here a little bit all right so we're gonna set that there and I'm gonna get this screw started sorry if my arm's in the way all right I gotta use a regular screwdriver because these screws are stripped. Ah, for crying out loud. This is such a tight spot. I got a cabinet in my head. A stove on my butt. Get back here, you little guy. I gotta find the hole there. There it is. Right, let me get it started. Okay, well, that didn't work. Let me get this done. You see the idea. These go there, they're spacers, they build it out so you can put a cover on. This is gonna take me a while with these strip screws. I don't have any more. All right, I got the spacers on there. Boy, these, these things are real handy. They're pretty simple to use. You just fold them back and then the one the other way. You don't want to use no more than three from what I hear. But what they do is they'll see, you can see up here, it's bumped them out. So now I can fit, hopefully, a faceplate on there. They still need to come out. Wow. But I think I can get them at least one on there. Yeah, this whole box is going to have to be removed. Let me see what I can do here. I don't even know if I can get one on there. This is, I have a stainless steel one. I can't find it. It's upstairs somewhere. So we're just going to put this one on for now. I don't even know that I'll get it on there, but if I can, that's better than nothing. And then we're going to turn this back on and see if I fix the problem. If not, I don't. I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. Put your glasses on, Mike. I'll tell you, this stuff gets me so flustered sometimes. I was sitting here, and I was trying to open a package, and I was looking for a knife. Look right here. Whole knife block. Yep. If I do get this on, it's just going to be a couple of threads. But that's all right. 
Alright, I couldn't even get it close to that before. Oh, where'd you guys go? One of them days, guys. I know the power's not on or I would have never stuck my finger or the screwdriver in there. Yeah, this isn't a good fit, but get it on there. <laughs> it's not had a cover in all these years. Uh, I think it'll be all right. Yeah. A little bowed. This, this metal makes it weird. All right, well, it's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. All right, let me go turn the breaker back on, then we're going to test it. Here we go. I'm turning the breaker on, turning the breaker on, on, on. I'm going to turn the breaker back on. Well, that's always a good sign when it don't throw the breaker. All right. Moment of truth, because if this didn't fix it, and it did not, still showing a ground fault. So I'm going to have to trace it back. I know that one's good. I know that one's good now. So I'm going to have to look at the panel or somewhere. In the, I think this goes to a junction box. So that's where it could probably be. Uh, I'm going to be re-looking at all this electric here. All right, move on to the next thing. Okay, we're in the laundry room. This is the one I wired, and uh, yes, the blacks are on the silver. They should be on the gold. So I have to reverse these, and then they'll be fine. That's on me. This one I did, I don't know, a year ago, something like that. Uh, here we go. Let's fix this one. Okay, I got this wired the correct way. Two pigtails to the neutral, two pigtails to the ground, two pigtails to the hot. We'll get the outlets put together, get them put back in. And I should get a correct reading on that tester. If not, I give up, man. My back hurts. I gotta strip some of this, pull some of this back too. All right, I am 100% confident that I now have it wired correctly. And I might put a disclaimer. Man, don't learn from me, but I'm constantly learning, okay? So now I believe I have the skills to do it correctly. Obviously, years ago I didn't. So we've got this button back up. Let's go flip the breaker, slap the tester in it. This was giving me a neutral uh, hot reverse which breaker was it? It was that one. Well, that's a good sign. All right, so tester in. The two lights on the right hand side should right light up. That must have been the wrong breaker. I hope so. What am I doing? Uh, let's see. What is this one to? I don't know. Okay, obviously in is on. That one's, uh, that one. Why did I have two of them off? Who knows, man? I don't know that this is on, but on it. <clears throat> Bam! Correct. Should have been correct the first time. Bam! Correct. Let's just for giggles try them all. Correct. Correct. Now every pug in my house is gonna look like that time I'm done tonight because I can't sleep knowing that something ain't right. I gotta find that ground fault. Now I'm gonna show you. Uh when I was doing the construction, I had all kinds of wires going everywhere. So some of these are run into a junction box, which is fine. Okay. So that's what I'm, I, I don't think the problem's going to be up there, but I'm going to tear those covers off and look, I believe that one right there has to be it because I think that 12 two 
is coming from the refrigerator. And if that's the case, I've got to I've got to change that because that's going to a 30 amp breaker. We can't have that. I didn't know that then. You know, this was that was probably six years ago when I wired that stuff. And, <laughs> and so I'm going to go through everything and change a lot of it. A lot of this won't be here no more. Uh, we're going to have we're going to get it all wired right. Uh, so I'm going to pull that cover off next and just gander gander in there. And see what we got going on inside this junction box uh, there's really no way this is wrong I mean it's hot to hot neutral neutral ground to ground but I do not see a ground to the box and I don't know if that could be it but I do know this is the refrigerator and this is going to a 30 amp breaker and this does not need to be on a 30 amp breaker this is 12 2 wire. So what I'm going to do is take this off. I'm also going to feed another one in here. We're still going to use it in the same junction box because I don't have, you know, that that wire is not long enough to make it to the to the service panel. So I'm going to join together uh, another piece of 12 2, run it down there, put it on a 20 amp breaker uh, as its own. It'll be his own dedicated breaker for the refrigerator. And then I'm going to ground this to the box, double check it. Uh, when I first moved in here, okay, what we did, we ran two temporary lines into the house. And this is the wire we used, and I had 250 feet of it. So a lot of that got used, man, that's just hard to work with. So this is the kitchen, the the uh, receptacles I was working on. This this is the kitchen wall, and the kitchen lights and all that. So that's fine. That's fine on 30 amp because it's running all this wire, this 10-2 wire, all the way through. So I know that's good and ain't gonna be any problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear this apart. I wish I gotta have to go get the other ladder and. Uh, and we'll get this fixed. All right, I just put that cover back on. Uh, I can't find my tester to see what's what's hot and what's not. And I ain't turning the main breaker off to work on that. Uh, got too many things running. So we'll get some batteries tomorrow for that or buy a new one. Uh, I just need, you know, not, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what all's in there, but let's just, you know, better be better safe than sorry. So, this plug down here is good. The one on the stairs is good. The only one I need to work fix now is the one <laughs> that's been running the air conditioner in the front room. It's reversed. You know, it'll work that way, but it's not recommended. But I want to get them all right to where, you know, when I plug this doodad on, that's what I'm seeing. That's what you need to see. If you don't own one of these, man, I would damn sure go buy one. Even if you're in a brand new house, just check your outlets, you know, because it doesn't, doesn't mean it's right. Because an electrician did it does not mean it's right. Sure wasn't right when I did it. Wow. But I'm not afraid to show you guys what I messed up on. Because if somebody's out there looking at my video going, oh, this is how you do it. Now, I'm not, a, I'm not an electrician. But the way that I wired this outlet and the ones in the dog room, they are correct. And I've already showed you those, so we won't go back in there. All right, man. I'm, uh, my back hurts bad. I got to sit down. Once I sit down for a while, I'll be good. And uh, if y'all haven't subscribed, just down there, do it. I don't care. Give me a like, give me an unlike. I don't care about that either. But it helps the Alpo rhythm. I don't have an algo rhythm. Dogman has an Alpo rhythm. And it helps my Alpo rhythm so my videos get more views, which helps me. All right, guys. Happy trails. <laughs>